Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys 10 beginner tips that I wish that I knew when I started directing music videos. Let's hop right into it. These are ranked specifically in order of importance, so make sure you guys stay to the very end because there are a lot of useful tips that will help your guys' career in this video. Starting at number 10, we have you do not need expensive gear to start. Now you guys have probably heard this a thousand times, oh, you don't need the most expensive gear in the world to get the best work, but honestly, this is very true, guys. When you guys are first getting started, don't blow a fucking bag on a $5,000, $10,000 camera because honestly, you're not gonna know how to use it. I started off with a $500 camera that I found on Facebook Marketplace, which I would say is pretty expensive, but I already knew how to use cameras because I did YouTube before, and I went around with that camera and made my money back 10 times over before I upgraded to a new one. When you're getting started, you really wanna learn the basics of a camera and get to know how to use it, so you do not need the most expensive camera to start with. Moving on to number nine is how to price your work. Now, there are a lot of miscommunications about this in the industry, I would say, and I would say the number one thing is, I say this all the time, is just to ask the artist for their budget. Now, if you ask an artist for their budget, you're basically asking them how much are they willing to put into the video. You can take a percentage of that for yourself and you can put the rest of it towards the video is how to shoot in the most effective way to edit it. Now guys, I highly recommend this. When I first started, and I know from multiple people who first started, when you're shooting a performance scene for an artist, if you even know what a performance scene is, a performance scene is recording the artist from the beginning to the very end of the song, and they're gonna be performing it to the camera for you. Now, some people, when they first start, they don't know this. They just record the first 20 seconds of the song, and then they go to a different part that they wanna record. They record 20 seconds of that part, you want to record the full performance scene multiple times. I usually do around eight to 12 takes for that. And then make sure you guys have a speaker that's playing very loud for the artist and very loud so your camera can capture it. Because when you hop into an editing software, you're gonna have to line that footage up to the song. Now, if you're in Adobe Premiere, which I use, I'm not too sure about any other editing softwares, I have something called Auto Synchronize. Now, when I first started, I didn't know what Auto Synchronize was, and I would just line up each clip individually with the audio, and sometimes it would be off. Now, what Auto Synchronize does is you can highlight all of them and auto synchronize it using the program, so I highly recommend you guys do that we have networking is a must. Now in this industry guys, there are tons of people trying to do the exact same thing as you. So why not network with them? You guys can hit other directors up on Instagram to collab, work on edits, direct videos together. I have my discord, which has a bunch of editors in it and directors. If you guys wanna go check it out in the description below, it's a great place just to meet new people who are doing the same thing as you. You know what they say, surround yourself with people doing the same thing as you because you basically become the people you surround yourself with. You just edit the video, bro. Honestly, guys, for these artists, if you want to work with people consistently, you can't be lacking when it comes to getting their videos back to them. You can't tell them a certain date and be like two weeks late on that date. They're not going to want to work with you again. So what I recommend is to tell them a date. You say, okay, we shot the video. It's going to be done 10 days from now. I'm not telling you guys to say 10 days. Say however long you think it's going to take you without procrastinating. And you guys want to get it back to the artist in half that time. So if you say 10 days, get it back to them in five days. You want to impress them. You want to be like, well, this guy really liked the video. He enjoyed working on it. So we got it back to me this fast you want to impress them and be like wow like you want to over deliver on that fact and honestly just don't be lazy don't procrastinate edit the video the first couple of music videos i shot for money guys i would go shoot the video come home and just chill for a straight two weeks before even opening it i would highly recommend just when you get home if it's not too late just hop in download the footage line it up maybe start coloring it maybe start going on it a little bit just because the juices are flowing in your mind because you just shot it but that's just what i recommend now the next one is reinvest in yourself. Not to contradict with the you don't need expensive gear one, but honestly, you wanna be reinvesting in yourself. Once you make a little bit of money or when you do make money off this music video stuff, I've said this in past videos, don't just go blow it on stupid shit. You wanna reinvest that back into your videos, whether that be editing packs, lights, new lenses, filters, all that kind of stuff, even trips. I booked a trip that I played for completely on my own to go to LA for three months, and I worked with a bunch of artists while I was there, not even knowing I was gonna work with them and I paid it back. So honestly, just reinvest in yourself, it'll go a long way. On the topic of editing packs though, if you guys are looking to reinvest in yourself, today is the last day for the BOGO on my site. That's right, you guys can get buy one, get one free. So if you guys add six editing packs to your cart, you will get three of them for free. It's the very last day for this, so make sure you guys go check that out if you're looking to step up your visuals with some editing packs. The next one is don't stop learning. A lot of people make this mistake when they get going, they get steady clientele, they just repeat the same process over and over again and they're not expanding their knowledge of editing or shooting or anything like that. You never wanna stop learning, guys. If you just stop learning, you're gonna stay stagnant and so many people are gonna end up passing you at a certain point. You wanna always be learning new editing styles, new techniques, new shooting styles, new ways you wanna direct a video, new concepts, all that stuff. Never stop learning, guys. 
The next tip is lighting is everything. I'm sure you guys have heard this a thousand times, but honestly, you can have a $30,000 red camera and then have a $500 camera with a couple of lights and you can make that $500 camera look way better than the red camera. Lighting is everything. I recommend you guys buy some lights. There's like these newer lights you can get on Amazon for like 200 bucks. They come with three of them on stands. They have multiple colors. I highly recommend those and you guys can probably find a bunch of other ones, but setting up two-tone lighting, like let's say for example, I have red on this side and blue on this side of someone's face when they're doing the performance scene and you carry that consistently or you change the lighting around having a lighting theme in a video can take a video a long way compared to just shooting run and gun on the street that is cool sometimes but having lights goes a long way guys Moving on to the next one, it is building your brand consistently. So whether you're going the route of me, where you have like a brand called Tiny Tapes or Lyrical Lemonade, for example, Overcast or Dotcom Nirvana is kind of a brand. I recommend to be uploading to your YouTube as much as you can, uploading to your Instagram as much as you can, and just building that brand consistently. You always want to be putting work into it. You always want to be putting your name out there as much as possible just to keep it flowing and get it in people's heads. Because if you just go ghost for three months, people might forget who you are. And this goes for personal brands as well, guys. And the last tip, which I think is the most important one, is to treat it like a job. If you guys want to make this your full-time job, you're going to have to treat it like a job. Even if you're working a job somewhere else, full-time, part-time, and when you get home off that 10-hour shift, 8-hour shift, whatever, you better be going right to your computer and editing. That's the only way you're going to be able to turn this shit into a job. If you guys are looking to go the entrepreneurial, self-employed route, you guys are honestly going to have to grind for a little bit, but it will be worth it. Dotcom Nirvana said it best in an interview. If you want the best possible scenario for yourself, it's not going to be easy. Anyways, guys, those are my 10 tips I wish I knew as a beginner. Thank you you guys so much for watching if you guys want more informal videos like these i have two banger videos right here i know you guys will like so just click on one of them i highly recommend it you guys will learn a lot come on click a video you guys got this bye